we're going to evaluate these two expressions which contain integer exponents. So let's look at the first one here. The first thing I want to do is to get rid of the negative exponents and turn them into positive exponents. We know that a negative exponent means we're going to take the reciprocal of the base. So here this 3 will turn into a 1 over 3 to have a positive 2 in the exponent. Let's go ahead and do that then. And we have 2 to the 5 and the 3 squared is going to move up into the numerator so this becomes 2 to the 5 times 3 squared. Then for the second term the 3 to the negative 1 is going to be 1 over 3. Or we can move it into the denominator and that achieves the same thing as taking the reciprocal. So now this is going to be 1 over 2 to the 4 times 3 to the power of 1, which is just 3. Now let's evaluate all of our exponents because we can't use any more exponent laws here since none of the bases are the same anymore. So 2 to the 5 becomes 32 and then we have times 9 and when we multiply it with this fraction in the denominator we're going to have um, sorry 16 and then times 3. But we can do some cancelling here before we actually multiply and do the dividing. And I think that we should because it will make things a lot simpler for us. So the 32 can cancel with the 16 and we would get 2 in the numerator and a 1 in the denominator. Then the 9 and the 3 are going to cancel and we'll get a 3 in the numerator and a 1 in the denominator. So this leaves us then with 2 times 3 and we just have the 1's in the denominator which we can leave out. 2 times 3 is 6 and so our answer here is 6 for this expression. Now let's look at the second question that we have. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here, get rid of all of the negative exponents by taking their reciprocal so we can get positive exponents. But this one's a little different because we have the addition in the numerator and the addition in the denominator. So it's not just as simple as taking the reciprocals and combining. We actually have to treat this as adding, uh, adding fractions. So we need the common denominator here. And um, you'll see what I mean. Let's get started. So to get rid of the negative 2 in the exponent here, I'm going to have 1 over 4 squared plus, and then the negative 1 in the exponent turns this into a 1 over 3. This is all going to be over 1 over 3 squared, because I got rid of the negative 2 in the exponent, plus 1 over 2 to the 3. So now we have sort of fractions within a giant fraction. So let's concentrate on adding the top portion together and adding the second portion together before we divide the two um, out in the end. In order to do this then, let's evaluate each of the exponents and then we're going to have to do some common denominators. So we get 1 over 16 plus 1 over 3, and this is all over 1 over 9 plus 1 over 8. So we need a common denominator in the top portion only. The common denominator here is going to be 48 because the lowest common multiple between 16 and 3 is 48. So to do that, Remember that we have to multiply the whole fraction by 3 over 3. And on this side, we're going to multiply the whole fraction by 16 over 16. And that just goes back to our basic adding fractions um, rules that we learned in grade school. So this is going to give us 3 over 48 plus 
16 over 48. And this is over, now we need a common denominator for the bottom portion. The lowest common multiple between 9 and 8 is 72. So to get that common denominator of 72, we're going to multiply this by 8 over 8 and multiply this one by 9 over 9. On the bottom then, we're going to get 8 over 72 plus 9 over 72. Now we're going to go ahead and add the top portion together and add the bottom portion together. So we're going to have 19 over 48 all over 17 over 72. But what we have here is a fraction divided by a fraction. And we know that when we have that, we take the reciprocal of the second one and we multiply them together. So really, we have here 19 over 48 times 72 over 17. So we can just go ahead and multiply this. We can do some reducing before we do that. We can reduce um, 72 and 48 by dividing by 24, and we get 3 and 2 here. So 19 times 3 is 57, and 2 times 17 is 34. So the final reduced answer for this expression that we had is 57 over 34.